Okay, so I work at Climax Canopy in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and trees, well, they're kind of a big deal here. The trees we choose are all big, strong, healthy trees that we expect to live long after we get out of them. But sometimes the environment brings new challenges for the trees and we have to act accordingly. For example, when the course was built, we decided to build lines and platforms in several eastern hemlocks. Now there's an insect called the hemlock woolly adelgid, which is an aphid that feeds on hemlocks and has been plaguing North American hemlocks since it was accidentally brought over from Asia in the 1920s. Using new treatments designed to protect the trees, we believe we could keep our hemlocks strong and healthy. Unfortunately, the older, mature hemlocks didn't respond well enough to the preventative treatments and the woolly adelgid took some of our favorite trees. But just because we don't use any hemlocks for zipping doesn't mean we're giving up on them. We still treat as many trees as we can, and many of the younger trees are continuing to grow and thrive. Climberk's little piece of the Smoky Mountains is just one small battlefield. The war is going on here, 800 square miles of the Smoky Mountain National Park, of which eastern hemlocks make up about 142 square miles of the forest. You can see the large patches of leafless brown hemlocks when you look out into Greenbrier Pinnacle from our zip lines that have already become victims of the adelgid. Eastern hemlocks are some of the largest and most common trees in the Smoky Mountains. Their extinction would result in a loss of many different plant and animal species due to the unique ecosystem it brings to a forest. For every ticket purchased for a tour at Climberk's Canopy, a dollar goes to protecting the eastern hemlocks. For more opportunities to help or donate, visit friendsofthesmokies.org. Take the challenge with us and help us protect the tree adequately nicknamed the Redwood of the East.